Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. This is just like a collective reading. I felt guided to make this, so let's see what comes out, but I've got to be honest, July and August have been really unnecessarily crazy. Like I was hoping for more fun and a little bit more of like just exhilaration in a different way, but I was not expecting like big earthquakes, people calling me that were just nervous wrecks about what was going on with earthquakes today. You know, uh, <laughs> the fridge was out for two weeks. Just like weird stuff that just keeps happening. And I'm like, is this going to end soon? Because I'm really tired of this like weird stuff. You know, and it's all happening ever since the beginning of July. So to me, I read that personally as like a big moment is coming soon. And it's just kind of like to prepare you because sometimes the guides will send us like events to prepare us for the exhilaration of like unexpected energy with the Mars Jupiter conjunction that's going to be really good for a lot of people especially if you have Jupiter in good placement and you have you know Mars in a good placement so this is a very fiery time where you can really benefit from this energy if you are if you're in if you have the right transits and, you know, I know as a Scorpio rising personally that this is also a speculative time um, because it's triggering your 5th, 8th, and 11th houses. 11th house is all about expansion. The 8th house is about other people's money. So this could be like, you know, crypto people community money, right? And the 5th house is the house of speculation. So you're triggering all the way up until and through the full moon, past the full moon. You have the Mars-Jupiter conjunction on the, the tomorrow, the 13th, all the way to like the 17th, and then the 19th or the 18th, and then the 19th you have the full moon. Um, so again, don't be surprised if sometime this week and into next week, you feel or experience shocking events that occur in your life or an uptick in your money or you know I even I was telling people that it doesn't necessarily mean that I was telling friends and patrons doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to see money it could mean that you know in the next two weeks you meet someone and three months later you know you end up no longer being single um, my money is pretty much on, like, by the end of this year, if you, oh, if you've wanted to be in a relationship or you feel like a relationship is coming, see, like, look how jittery the energy is, you guys. Very destabilizing. Very overwhelming. I was just drinking my little hot water with lemon and then, like, it slipped. This type of stuff has been happening all week. So... I don't know, but I'm going to keep praying more than I usually do because, again, having the earthquake, it's like the second earthquake in two weeks. Everyone's like, yeah, you could have tremors. You could have an aftershock quake, so you should probably be careful. I'm like, okay, well, now I'm definitely not going to, you know, to do any long distance driving for the next few weeks <laughs> if I can get out of it because, like, I don't want to be stuck on the freeway. You know, but I do think that this is coming to an end. I think the earthquake was also like a symbol of something that's about to happen. Something big that's about to happen. Now we have the Empress, the Three of Swords, and the Deception card. I feel like that's the past. I feel like that's what was, especially during Cancer season. You might have over-anticipated that something was going to come through and it didn't over anticipating a union was going to come through and it didn't um deception when it comes to how quickly it happens like when does it happen and then it never happens because 
you know, with the, with this card coming out, the Wheel of Fortune coming out, this is also symbolizing time. So it could be that, you know, the timeline shifted. Now, having the follow-up card for time being the Virgo, this again points to Virgo season as being the more opportune time to see things come full circle. This is when the money could flow in. This is when the person could come into your life. Virgo season is from August 22nd to like September 22nd. So give or take a few days, the 20th, you know, to the 20th, the 18th, whatever, within five days. I usually just say like the 21st or 22nd. Um, now it could be that between now and September before Libra season, you are you hear from someone, you start to see your opportunities get better or clearer, or you start to make more money. Something happens that shifts you in a better, bigger, better direction that just gets you to the place of like real, like 10 of cups, 10 of cups. And I think that like, we have to focus on how we can really improve this next month is like the finale to do that. The, the finale to like improve yourself, improve your skill set, improve your exit strategy, improve your confidence. Like I kind of feel like if you're going to do any of that stuff, you might want to start wrapping it up right now because that's coming to an end very soon. So with the tower, oh, we have the tower here. Again, this is like a finale. This is big, big shifts. And I'm just going to keep it there because I want to move on to other cards, other decks, but the tower feels really relevant. So I do feel like an unexpected matter divine intervention is coming in let's see if we can dig up a little bit more nothing too crazy but just a few more cards to get some clarity moose imposing powerful independent time alone i mean yeah solid um just being alone solitude has been kind of a beautiful thing i also would not be surprised if you met a person when you were enjoying your solitude like you don't want to be bothered like the person could come in and you're like eh I kind of just want to be single and they're like I want you it could be something like that because we have the fireworks we have the stalemate the fireworks is passion the star it's like destined and faded because if you have the star coming in you know, it could be, yeah, look, it's definitely something, an opportunity to take something to the next level when it comes to love. Principle, religion, dogma, family values, marriage coming out. I, yeah, I would give it to three to six months uh, before you can call yourself, like, not single anymore, even if you are not thinking about it or you don't want to be. I'm feeling a shift, a new wave of people. And look, the freedom is here rising above it's not really freedom in a way that like you're expecting. It's more of like feeling like you can do it. Like I think part of what I kind of my gut and my intuition has told me is that a lot of people, especially the young people, the young generations that maybe haven't had the opportunity to be in a relationship, like they haven't felt confident or free enough. Like, they can financially support a person or like that they can take a person out on dates. Like they can be free to like experience the joy of a relationship because what it means to be in a relationship has become dictated through social media. It's just completely wrecked a lot of young people's understanding of how to have a relationship. We also have the engagement rings. So guys, these cards are just, they're screaming union and 
timeline wise, I mean, this is the queen of air. This looks like within two to four weeks during the winter. I wouldn't be surprised if you really solidify a relationship. Three to six months puts us right in winter. But it could be that within two to four weeks from now, which would put us around September 10th, September 15th, 12th, you could hear from someone, someone could come around. It could be that you just, your life elevates to a different level. Spring new moon. I don't know. I think like the nerves of knowing that you're about to enter into an old, that you're leaving an old way of life, you know, it's just kind of like, becoming more accepted and I think that also a lot of people who have been struggling to maybe want to be in a relationship they suddenly find it to be easier maybe it's because things are finally working out in other aspects of their life which again goes back to like if people can't afford to be in a relationship they don't want to be in a relationship if you have not healed from past traumas and problems like you're not gonna bring the you're not gonna want to bring those into a new relationship. So a lot of people are clearing up the like traumas that they've been experiencing. This is kind of that time where if you're gonna reflect, this is the time to do that. And to really understand, you know, that you are fragile and that you're unique and that this is part of the upgrade. We keep having the Prince of Fire coming out. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the person that's about to come into your life, if you don't know this person, it might not even be a relationship. It might be like a professional situation. I feel like the person is really grounded and just keeps you feeling like you're good. And like, you don't have to worry is what I feel like. It's not like, for example, it kind of feels like if they left and they come back, like they're never leaving again. They're not going to do like a fleeting thing. It's going to be something where it's like, if they're really ready and look time, timeline wise, you guys, I mean, it's 14 to 30 days. It's again, it's giving us the fall we just had winter with the princess of air 14 to 30 days is two to four weeks again so i like my money is on two to four weeks from now you are gonna hear from some body or something's gonna be clear or your finances are gonna be in a much better position and look phoenix rising from the ashes so whatever this is it's like a come to jesus moment an aha moment as sort of our supporting cards grounded fertility the storks is, are even here i mean that just screams like union wanting to put two and two together wanting people to just wanting to just find a way to make it happen you know and i remember as a young girl like five years ago I was like so enamored with the idea of being in a relationship, like the right relationship and like just wanting to like settle down and stuff and like it wasn't happening and then it just got worse and weirder and people were just not being nice. They were all like, there was this whole sort of issue that still I believe is going on, but really up until last year, this whole issue of like people wanting to just experience a woman, like experience someone versus actually like them and pursue them. And it's like, if you say that you're someone's girlfriend or boyfriend, like you are not just gonna like, like cancel that or like block them or like leave for five years. Like I had someone, I've had this type of a thing happen to me. I know people that it's happened to in a worse, worse situations where I'm like, you're asking me to be a significant other but like, you're not showing up, like you're not even here. And then they just like disappeared for like two years. 
And it was like, I wanted to, like, I wanted to do that. I wanted to try and make it work, but maybe it was not meant to be. If it was, if it's going to be some person that just says this and then they disappear for the, like, for two and a half years and longer, what's the point? You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, why would you even waste someone's time like that if you're not going to really pursue it? You know, and I think for me, that's also part of this is like, I don't have the time to like wait for someone to like, you need to know how to wow someone. If you really want that person, you're going to wow them. Now we have the Syrians because I just wanted to throw these in there to spice things up a little bit. <laughs> I was like, this is the ancient, this is the mystic Martian Oracle deck for people who are like alien lovers. We have the Syrians, which, you know, if you look at the dress, it's very chakra alignment vibes it's artistic integrity honesty and you know <laughs> it is kind of water energy so it again would not surprise me if this person is near the water if this person is someone who literally like if this situation of just alignment is what is coming in Maybe connecting near the water will help you significantly. Now we have the MIB, we have the men in black. Uh, I When I see this, it just makes me think of like, is this person someone really structured? Is this a group of, is this person working like in a suit and tie type of role? Is this person, you know, an investigator? Is this person someone who gets down to the nitty gritty and clean clears things out? Then we have the Andromed, uh, I can't even say anything today, Andromedans, don't, I just butchered that, but this is all about free will and manifestation, this is about the galaxy and the stars, and it's autonomy, it's no, it's understanding your access to your, the portal that, of life that you hold. And then we have, last but not least, Alchemy, the Philosopher's Stone. This is about destiny, magic, etc. So that's our main card for all three of these. <sighs> could be that this person has ties to certain organizations. It could be that this person who's kind of coming in. Because look, I mean, look at the other cards we have. We have like this type of a symbol. You know, is this person Italian? Is this person, what's going on here, right? I don't know. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Kind of weird cards to pull, but I felt like I was supposed to, so I just did. <sighs> All right, here we go. Blessing on a friendship. We have a blessing to heal a relationship. And last but not least, we have a blessing on a resolution. Oh, these things do not want to stay up. I think that this could also be that you heal a relationship that you thought was supposed to be like bring you closer to someone or it could be that a person comes back from the past a friend from the past comes back they want to heal something I actually have a friend that literally this week they literally like reached out and I hadn't talked to them for like four years because I was you know I was going through my own problems and I was like eh, like I just feel like everything was difficult and I didn't want it to be difficult I wanted my friendships to be easy and you know you go through these phases where some things are more difficult for years than others. Like, and this is also why I say, especially if you are really um, one of those people that like believes in this type of stuff that I'm kind of going to go into, I just, I strongly believe that some people just have great years and other, and then they can flop. And other people can have really difficult years while those people have great years. And then, you know, they can flop. I've seen people who, have nothing happen in their 20s and in their 30s and then by the time they get into their 40s that's when they're at the height of their career i know people who have experienced the height of their career in their 20s 
and their 30s and once they hit their 40s it's like all downhill and their peak in life was like you know their um the first part of their life and so all they do is reminisce on the past of what happened like three decades ago and it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's also like you know i would rather be the person who is building up to the highlight of my life in my 30s 40s 50s 60s <laughs> versus being someone who had like childhood's fame or stardom and in my teens and 20s and 30s that was like the highlight of my life and then I just like lived a mediocre life the second half of my life like I want to be able to like reap rewards during the like the best prime times of my life kind of but everybody's different some people peak some people just remain at like all-time highs I mean they are presidents who become that are at their peak in their 70s and 80s so who knows right 60s 70s and 80s they're like doing the thing the damn thing so like we'll never I think that what I've taken what this whole reading has kind of shown me I just feel like the dog days are, are over, like this month of August. I feel like the second half of August, starting this week, is just a time where you're going to feel like things are coming together way more than they were the first half of the year, or even the years before that. Um, I feel like with this blessing on a resolution, like September... This two plus seven is nine, ninth month. I mean, for me, this feels, I gotta be honest, it feels like a lot of your problems are gonna go away by September. A lot of problems are gonna be gone by September. Um, and I feel like by that point, like you can put your shield down. Cause look, I mean, even though she's holding the sword, like where's her shield? Where's everything else? I feel like she's, guarded but she's kind of like almost reminiscing on the past and what has gotten her to where she is now so I feel like there's just a lot of resolutions coming a lot of clarity coming a lot of people like could come back from the past I just pretty much say like it's 2024 so whatever has happened between five to seven years ago from now, which would put us at, you know, 2018, 2017 or 18 to now, like think of all the situations and storylines that have played out. You know, I feel like this is a time to reflect. This is a time to kind of close chapters. And we do have a, a very important eclipse coming up. We also have a Jupiter-Saturn conjunction occurring um, on the 19th simultaneously with the full moon, and then we have the solar eclipse. Would I be surprised if between this weekend and early October, you had drastic changes occur within a matter of weeks? No, it wouldn't surprise me at all because a lot of people have had nothing happen in their lives for years and then out of nowhere within six months three years i'm sorry three to six months your whole life changes like that so it would not surprise me one bit if people started to see their lives come together by thanksgiving at the latest end of the year latest but really by this eclipse by this solar lunar eclipse in october you should see drastic changes in your life for real by then so thanks for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this little reading. I don't really know what to call this, but I guess if you click on it, it's meant for you, maybe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in another video. Have a nice night. Bye, guys.